So I want to quickly detail the current capabilities of SOLIDWORKS 2016 SP3 when it comes to 2D drawings, layers, and what they look like when they're saved as DWG files. So what we currently have is a 2D drawing of SOLIDWORKS assembly. So I'm going to take these views here and just set them to hidden lines removed because this effect will be more apparent. So there are currently some layers set up in the SOLIDWORKS drawing and they're purely annotative. When I take a look at each of these, what you'll notice is that if I turn off the dim layer, you'll see the build materials and balloons, as well as the notes hide. Um, the title block and border are also on separate layers. Now to put parts on separate layers, we simply click new. And I'm gonna leave the layer name the default, but I wanna change the color to make it very distinct. We'll call it orange. And by selecting an individual component, it doesn't matter which view this happens in, it's gonna happen in all views as a result. But by selecting the component and clicking move, you'll notice that it turns orange in this view, as well as this view. I click a part over in this view and click move that will also turn orange if we add another new layer this time let's make it a very bright magenta and we'll select another component here and click move and you'll see that that's magenta now by hiding and showing these layers you'll be able to see the individual control you have over the lines generated by those individual parts now i'm going to go ahead and save this as a dwg so file save as doesn't matter about the other views on the other sheets we're gonna save that out as a DWG file. And you always wanna be conscious of the version you're saving. So go to the Options button and check out your version. And I also wanna point out that we are not using DWG mapping capabilities. This is typically used to set specific line types or um, entities to a layer upon export. So you could set up several map files to go to several different outsources, um, but all really originating from the same drawing. And they can have uh, their own specific layers, line types, and entities mapping to those layers. We are not using that. We are currently saying file save as DWG. So with this, we'll just save the file. Now we get an indication that some of the sheets are scaled differently. It's not going out one to one. Uh, this sheet here is one to five. The rest are uh, full scale, but there's always gonna be that vetting when we save out a DWG file, just in case it's going to direct manufacturing. Now we're gonna take the DWG file that just resulted from this and open it up in draft site. And the results will be quite obvious. What you'll see here is that the draft site file will contain um, clear delineation of the colors. If you take a look at the layers up top, the layers have the names, the color set, and the ability to hide and show those. So once again, this started from a native SOLIDWORKS drawing of an assembly. We took those individual components and selected them, put them on specific layers, which were able to be hidden and shown in SOLIDWORKS. And then when we saved the file as a DWG file, those same layer settings were retained on the resulting file. Again, this is current capabilities with SOLIDWORKS 2016 SP3.